Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 8 of season 2 of Fire Force. Go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Still wondering if we're gonna meet this woman behind this voice. Has to be the mole table. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Regulations. Today, oh, he's so cute and adorable. I love him. So, my merchandise for him, he's too fucking cute and cuddly, and I, I just want him. So, just do that. Dog. Come here. On my thigh. Thank you. Oh, it's my hello. How's your day? Mm -hmm. Stay for a couple minutes and you go, okay? Which could be the voice of the forest, I'm guessing. Just go lay down, my bud. But did anybody want to take advantage of the flame? Of course, it's always one day. Well, then she has to be inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, stop. Mm -hmm. 
Well, she has to still be at least close. Because if that's her voice, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she has to be the only one here that has to be here besides you guys. I mean, do we really consider her human? Or the bandits? Oh, brains. <laughs> oh, my God! <dear. laughs> oh! You okay? Honestly, I thought so too. Gosh. I mean, yeah, it makes the most sense. Question is, who the fuck built the damn thing? <laughs> so then that has to be the reason why she keeps messing just in it to protect the forest. Excuse me. 
Yeah. You know, any time while they were talking, like, they literally could have just attacked them. Yeah. Mainly the tablets that they have with them. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of numbers on them. But shouldn't you get well, I mean never mind. I mean if it was me, I would try to go, but I get it. Well, what else can they do? I just wish this freaking sneeze would just come out. Like, oh my god. like a suicide mission. No, oh, it'll be okay, Scoop. Mm-hmm. Who oh, is so cute? Look at him. Mm. No. Oh, I can't. Like that. I want them. <laughs> oh. 
Of course. But did you, I mean, damn. could be towards like a really long code or something but then there's numbers well shit Oh, baby boy, I love him too. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, y'all don't know is that they're trapped in that room now. Mm. Unless you're telling me like some of the animals died and then their spirit went inside of the room or something. I don't think that'll happen. I mean, I, I, okay, he just, he, you know what, he is a cult leader and the rest of them are a part of his cult. He is crazy, but oh. Nah, because no matter what, he's always going to want to bring his followers or anyone else with him.
You might have to use your dark side, but I, I don't know if you can control it that much, guys. But still, y'all don't know they're trapped in there. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I told you. Is the woman gonna take over him? But what could it lead to, though? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on the other side as well. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn that white flag and it's like, what the sir? Like, hold, hold on. I don't even know what to ask right now. Are you serious? What the fuck? Wait. I have so many questions about that. How is it that Arthur's the only one who knows that and who can read that? I'm thinking these sequences were like, the further that they got down, maybe they would have seen, like, what the sequences and everything mean. But, like, Arthur over here is saying everything. <laughs> what? Boy. My son. <laughs> I don't know what to think about what's going to happen with this demon because they, okay, they can't really go against this thing. They can, but they can't defeat it. And so you're sitting here looking like, well, damn, what the hell can you do? You can try... And maybe with the fact that the um the woman came to Shinra with the adult link, maybe he might give him some OP move to defeat the demon, possibly. I was assuming that the girl with the blonde hair who looked like Iris was gonna come back and take over him, and then bam, that's how he was gonna defeat it, but then he was gonna have to control like his urges and not go to the dark side edge. But no. I mean, I'm not saying that that could happen in the next episode, but who knows? Mm. There has to be somebody else in there. I mean, I, it wouldn't surprise me if the woman is still inside of there because her voice came from there. But then what if there's also another person? I mean, there could be a, a, a group not an organization or a cult or anything, but another group in there with her. But then who's to say? As a uh, anime only, I don't know shit. So <laughs> I don't want to be spoiled or anything. But I mean, whatever it is, it's going to have to deal with whatever else is going to happen for the rest of this season. Because from what I what I was told about this arc, it's one more episode besides this. So it's only really, I think, what, seven, episode seven, episode ten, and then we come back home. So... Whatever it is, it's going to be important, but we're probably going to see a little bit of it be focused on for the rest of these episodes. And then from 11 to 24 or however long the second season is, which is usually like 24 episodes, then we'll get something that'll be even more important that will have to do with it as well. Don't know what it could be possibly, but yeah, I mean, it seems like, like with, um, I can never say his name right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh god, I mean, like, mm, from that preview, it looked like he about to do some OPS move, but we ain't gonna know until next week. I really like the way it looks, all the symbols and everything on him. That looks really nice. It kind of gives you, um, feels to a lot of, um, 
African heritage and stuff like that as someone who, you know, because of my father, part of that tribe and everything. But it would be interesting, and I honestly cannot wait to see it. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 8 of season 2 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 9. Bye, guys.